Welcome back to another video. You guys really wanted a sequel to this, so I thought long and hard about how I could make this original, because I'm not super into just rehashing the same content, and uh, this is what I came up with. So, as many of you are familiar with, I did a video called a 45 minute video about toast, where I sort of just talked about toast. The reason behind this was because I wanted to see how long I could sort of buffer or just improv about a specific topic straight without any editing, without any cuts, no script, and just ramble. Obviously, I've gotten a lot more insecure about my talking patterns since then, and I very much appreciate being able to edit around my voice and my thoughts because they don't often make a ton of sense the first time through in a completely unfiltered manner. So this is kind of going back to form for me because I'm not super used to this, but I think it's good to get in the habit of just, you know, being able to roll with the punches and sticking to the guns of what I said and not thinking too hard or too long about any one word that comes out of my mouth. Okay? Okay. So last time, back before I moved to New York, I was really into toast. Now, toast is a great meal. You can use it with a lot of things, but let me tell you something even more impressive, and that's bagels. But we'll get to that in a second, because my girlfriend actually just got back from grocery shopping, and she said to me she wants to say hi. Hello. Hello. Do you want to say anything to the viewers at back at home? Hello. How was grocery shopping? It was good. That's good. Food. You got food? Yeah. Nice. I'm out of breath. You're out of breath? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just started doing this again, because oh. I've done a couple takes, and yeah, I haven't really liked them. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. They don't do any of those things anymore, <laughs> but, you know, sometimes they don't unsubscribe. So, thank you thank for you not for unsubscribe. Thanks for staying subscribed. Like That's, and comment. Like and comment, and uh, I'm not going to do another one of these. <laughs> so, okay. no, I, me I meant more for the viewers. Don't comment trying to get me to do a second one of these. Uh, this is, I'm not doing a third toast video. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Bagels are sort of the new toast for me because you can eat them basically for any meal of the day, any little snack, and the amount of variety that you can get from the concept of a bagel is pretty insane, pretty awesome. Now, uh, I believe last time I was mentioning how toast had the variety of spreads such as jam or butter or whatever you wanted to do with toast and how you can make sandwiches out of it. Uh, well, guess what? All the same applies to bagel but there's more yeah that's right in case you've never heard of a bagel you can get different kinds of bagels that's like i'm talking plain cinnamon raisin everything egg everything sesame there's other kinds of bagels that i definitely i'm not thinking of i've seen a jalapeno bagel you know you can really kind of do anything you want with the actual physical makeup of the bagel itself and it only gets more complicated from there because from there, you can then start adding any sort of spreads or toppings, or even making sandwiches out of them. It's pretty commonplace in New York to get a egg, ev uh, egg and cheese, or uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, um, if you like pork, on bagels. That's pretty common. That's a very common trend for people to do. But it's honestly not something that's that mainstream, I feel like. There's still a niche part of the main internet culture that doesn't really acknowledge bagels and it's kind of insane <laughs> um, this is this isn't even sequel voice me talking this is just a legitimate thought i have like sure the internet knows oh yeah pizza pizza's great oh bacon yeah bacon's epic but like then no there's no there's not that much memes and mainstream speak about bagels it's always been a little bit ostracized uh, it might have something to do with the fact it's like a Jewish sort of food that's sort of incorporated more into mainstream culture now, but has that very distinctive past. Oh my god, you got corn too? Nice. Thank you. That's awesome. Sorry, my girlfriend was just showing some of the groceries she got to me. Uh, anyways, yeah, I don't know the exact history of where the bagels come from or anything, but they've never gotten insanely popular on the internet, at least as far as I've noticed. 
So you might be wondering, how is it that I am talking while I'm sitting in front of you eating bagels? <laughs> well, that's because this is a narration. Yeah, this footage is actually seriously, seriously old and I don't even have that haircut or facial hair anymore. So, you know, ig ignore that. But I basically bought as many bagels as I could and decided to try and eat them in all in one sitting with, of course, cream cheese and toasted spread on them. Uh, that's probably my favorite topping for bagels, I would say, is generally cream cheese. Although, I have had unfortunate experiences with cream cheese early in the morning. I'm not going to get into too much detail because I don't think you'd want to hear all the gross details. But, basically, when I was about to do some heavy endurance and lifting, I had a cream cheese bagel right beforehand. And... I got, my body got so heated up and sweaty from, you know, the physical activity that I ended up uh, not feeling well and emptying out my stomach of cream cheese and bagel product. I, I don't know why exactly. I think it has something to do with like the heat of your stomach getting, maybe like curdling it or something. Maybe it just didn't sit right. I, I, I fully don't know, but that, so that was as painful as it sounds, because uh, it really didn't have much time to digest in my system, if you know what I'm saying. And that was just really unfortunate. And ever since that experience, I've been a little bit more cautious with how I eat my cream cheese on bagels, because here in New York City, they give you a lot. And I'm talking like a lot of cream cheese. I don't know if you can see it on these bagels, but these are these are done by me. This is like a relatively normal amount, I feel. They'll probably put like three times that on a bagel. It, they take a spoon instead of a knife. <laughs> That's what we're talking here, okay? It's it's a lot of cream cheese and you know, it's good if you're if you if if you're in that mood, but it can be overbearing, it can make you sleepy sometimes, and it like it can kind of just sort of clean you out. At least I've found that sometimes you know, cream cheese on a bagel can be a bit much, at least for my stomach. So, that leads me to my second favorite topping, which would be butter. Now, butter is a much more, you know, intermittent option, I feel like, for myself than cream cheese. Uh, because it's useful to have, but it also is artery clogging. <laughs> like, it tastes good, but it's not, it's hard, it's hard to validate that as a breakfast item or breakfast spread. You know, I know it's great and I know it's good, but maybe it's just because I've gotten a little bit older now. I've just been trying to be a little bit more health conscious, but cream cheese is probably about the same amount of unhealthiness for you. So what, what do I know? Now, that isn't to say that butter is something to avoid, because honestly, I think on certain bagels, it kind of outshines cream cheese at times. Uh, my personal opinion is that a, a cinnamon raisin bagel is a much better bagel than an everything bagel if it has butter on it. Because the way the butter melts with the cinnamon, it kind of just, I don't know, that flavor combo is a little bit nicer than a cream cheese cinnamon raisin bagel. And it, it even outshines some other different bagels that one might say is superior just because of the combination of the butter there. Now, that doesn't mean you can't apply butter to, say, a sesame or a poppy bagel. You know, you probably would have the same outcome. But I generally think on a more dry bagel, it's nice to get that sort of filling, sat like cooling creaminess that the whipped cream, not whipped cream, cream cheese. I'm so sorry. My brain just had a flake there. <laughs> I fully, I was reading in the news about how they banned whipped cream in New York City, actually. Uh, well, not banned, but you have to be 21 years of old or there now to buy it, which is kind of crazy because, like, it's whipped cream, but I guess, you know, enough people were doing the whippets that it became a problem. I don't know. That's fully crazy to me, but that's something that should have been on my mind. Uh, anyway, yeah. Bagels have been... <sighs> Uh, great. They're uh, not something I do every morning, every breakfast, because uh, they're filling. They're you know I like to have them more as a treat, but they count more as an individual meal than toast. Like having a slice of toast, 
or two slices of toast even in the morning isn't going to be the most filling whereas having two halves of a bagel is can be that can actually be a full breakfast i mean there's still going to be sort of a smaller breakfast all things considered but they can be very filling hence this footage you, you probably noticed me slowing down by now these bagels are insanely filling and i think i had um four of them there i believe at the start so we'll see uh how far i can make it through these because because they're kind of insane but that's kind of the benefit of bagels too is the fact that you don't have to eat as much of it to f have a filling meal you know you don't have to eat a whole loaf like you would if you were to make toast you could just have like a bagel maybe two <sighs> they also complement coffee insanely well or any most drinks i've been doing a lot of bagels with tea relatively recently uh, i'm not super into hot tea but a nice cold iced tea mm, that goes great with a bagel uh honestly even something like an arizona can of iced tea it, it goes great with a bagel as well i remember i used to do that back a lot in college and that was sort of my go-to uh snack before class like breakfasty sort of snacky thing before class it was great for a lot of reasons but sometimes that you'd get the crash of having had too much bagel so then i started to save it and have it be more like a breakfast and then like a little snack bit of bagel during lunch um or i'd even eat it during class there were a few times i'd finish my half a bagel while watching a projection slideshow about something or whatever uh oh yeah and in case you're rejoining me now years later i fully went and graduated from college so that's cool that's fun uh yeah i, I I'll, I'll, I'll you don't care we don't need to get into that right now you came here to talk about bagels you came here to hear about toast you came here to reference the 45 minute video at toast like come on that's what we're here to talk about and um i keep getting sidetracked with things that are not pertaining to that so let's just hop back on track and talk about one of the biggest gripes people might have with bagels and that is the fact that there is quite literally a hole in the center of them i know that might deter a lot of people from wanting to try them because how can you put a spread on if it's going to leak through onto your hand when you're holding it right like that's just stupid but hear me out the hole sort of enables you to eat it in a way that's rem reminiscent of like a donut you can eat it in sort of a stylistic manner so that it's a whole new experience than eating a piece of bread or eating a sandwich which is on a piece of bread it's again very similar to the concept of a donut if you've ever had one of those but not something like a jelly donut or a boston cream because those donuts have fillings and don't have holes whereas bagels have holes generally although you can get bagels that are so stout that there is not actually a hole in the center of them because the bread completely touches and encases the closing of the bagel those are some of the best bagels i feel because when you do the spread you can just do it easier and faster like you would a piece of toast whereas bagels with very well-defined holes in the center can often lead to some struggle when trying to apply the spread on because you have to go in a more circular pattern the other thing about bagels is the fact that everyone has their favorite i personally cannot stand store-bought bagels like you get them from uh trader joe's or big y or stop and shop or you know anything like that generally your bagels that you get packaged that have been from sitting in a factory shelf somewhere for a couple weeks those bagels tend to be super mid they're fine okay probably would have rather a piece of toast if i'm honest we're talking genuine bagels we're talking you go to panera bread we're talking you go to local bodega shop or bagel shop even did you just call panera bread bagels genuine bagels 
I did because I actually genuinely like Panera Bread Bagels because it's an actual bakery. I think as long as you go to somewhere with a bakery that can get that fresh quality bagel, you have a decent experience. But this fully comes down to the most complicated topic and that's how they make the bagels because the water they use to make the bagels is a big factor. So the Panera that I grew up with in Pennsylvania was honestly pretty all right. The Hershey Panera Bread, if you ever go there, it's really good. You should try their bagels. You'll probably have a great time. But if you're talking about store-bought bagels, I, I don't know what kind of water they might use at different chains of Panera Bread or different you know factories for, uh, I can't remember the brand name. I was trying really, really hard to remember the brand name of like those bags of donuts you see in the bread aisle at the supermarket, but they're not donuts. Those bags of bagels. Sorry, I'm saying a lot of B words and my brain is getting all crossed in the wires. But we're going to just keep on rolling on. No edits, no cuts. We're keeping on going because this is the sequel, which means it has to be bigger, has to be better, has to be bodaciously more bagels and a lot more b So, yeah. Uh, bagels are pretty great, but it really depends on the water you get them. Hence why I really love New York City bagels, because apparently the New York City water contains polio? And it also makes their bagels taste better? Okay, the polio thing, that's just mostly a scare, although the fact that polio is returning in northern New York, uh, like right outside New York City, is kind of scary. Uh, there's, it contaminated the water, uh, near where I have a friend's house. Um... And I've been there, and I fully drank the water, so I hope I don't have polio, but I have the vaccine for it. Get vaccinated, by the way. Uh, it's something important to do that everyone should do. Uh, generally, it won't kill you, I think. Um, doctors tend to be pretty smart people, except for when they're not. So trust the media, I think. <clears throat> that was coffee, not water, in case you were wondering. Um, I am not going to timestamp this like the one person did on the previous 45-minute video about toast. But if you would like to, you can. Uh, that's, that, that was a coffee sip. I distinctly wanted that to be noted. So anyways, there's many different kind of options with bagels, but I generally find that the toasting of a bagel is sort of the best route to go to start your process off, mainly because it just gets it nice, crispier, and activates the flavor of the bagel. Unfortunately, I have had bagels where they were toasted too long and they burnt off all the seasonings. So they were just charred bits of sesame and uh, whatever else is on a bagel. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know what's on an everything bagel, honestly. It's just everything. It's, it's everything. I don't know all the specifics but it was all charred and tasted burnt the bagel itself was okay but the fact that all the toppings tasted like burnt iterations of themselves made it less enjoyable overall so bagels can be that hit or miss that you get with toast uh, there's no real sure fire way to make sure that you're gonna have an enjoyable experience every single time you get a toasted object from heat applied to bread now that being said, I guess I should mention some close runner-ups to the bagel because I do like a lot of baked goods, um, very much into the carbs, very much into the breads, and uh, there were a lot of options that could have made their way to be the centerpiece of this video, but ultimately, I... Uh, I thought I, th I figured bagel was kind of the most iconic to me. It felt the most relevant, and it also felt the most niche, because if you think about it, it's like people love a lot of, you know, like their pumpkin spice and like all this stuff. But bagels, I think we kind of take bagels for granted. I don't, you know, maybe 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 that maybe that's maybe that's just me. Maybe it's not. There's a, a, a decent fair bit of background noise, so I'm sorry about that. No. It's, it, it's okay. No, I'm not trying to call you out. I just, I was apologizing. I was putting away the groceries and then I made lunch. Oh, nice. How was lunch? I just made it. I haven't tried it yet. Cool. That's exciting though. 
good 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 update i appreciate that thank you uh yeah there's some close runner-ups to bagels were uh croissants basically like the french counterpart on account of their flakiness and the butteriness of it all um but sort of in that same vein i've been thinking about bagels are much less common here in the states i feel like than a lot of other countries and also to find a good croissant in the states is even harder because they're just they're just not nearly as common sure they'll have them at your coffee shops sure they'll have them at your bakeries but basically anywhere else but that is going to be pretty pretty bad not even mid it'll be pretty enjoyable experience and that's just because to do a bagel well takes a lot of love not bagel sorry a croissant. <laughs> Let me get some more coffee here. I need to wake up the old brain. So, a croissant takes a lot of love and care to be really well made in that perfect flaky amount. Uh, whereas bagels, I feel like you can generally make them entirely on your own fairly easily. Uh, croissants are a little bit more pretentious as well because on account of the French, sorry French people, it's just just how it is. Uh, also, <laughs> real quick, if you notice in the video, you can really start to see me sort of die in here. I'm debating about making this decision whether or not I should carry on, and uh, you'll see if I make that decision. Yeah, bagels are a phenomenal option because unlike croissants, you can get a decent bagel pretty much anywhere at any time. And it's like bread, it's like toast, except just a little bit more filling, and you can have a little bit more variety depending on where. I've fully been to places with cream cheese aisles, like basically a ice cream store with the selection of you can just go up and pick which kind of whipped cream. Uh, uh, cream cheese you would like and they had a ton of options and I, I every single time I did plain cream cheese because I'm just not that experimental I guess with my foods so you know whatever sorry my bad but hey there's uh, other kinds of things and options there for people to experiment with I would usually just experiment with the type of bagel itself and from where Recently, since I've moved, uh, I've been going to this one place where the bagel man, his name is Ben, Ben the Bagel Man, he gives he gives all the customers for free some like a little rice ball that he makes called Ben's Balls, and it's super iconic, super fun little different kind of experience that adds so much to the bagel enjoyment, because I've honestly never had bagels with rice before until I tried bagels and these little spicy uh I forget exactly what they're called but some sort of rice ball thing with meat and uh it's delicious a perfect way to top off a breakfast a breakfast consisting of bagel I guess I, I was trying to think of some way I could say that in a fun manner but I couldn't uh think of anything specifically Unfortunately, I will say, I feel like the problem with bagels arises with the fact that a lot of the time you have to slice them on your own. Uh, if it were, if they were already pre-sliced, I feel like bagels could be a serious contender for the best bread of all time. But I, I still don't know if I even have an answer myself for that question because that really depends on mood just to say one bread is the most superior out of all possible bread is it's just a little ridiculous i think um i think they'll have a time and place but i do think that bagels can be interchangeably used for a lot of situations albeit generally you have to slice them open to eat them or toast them or do whatever you're going to do with them and so for that, you can't just get pre-sliced loaf of bread. You have to get an unsliced bagel. And sure, I guess you can get some of those like store-bought, factory-made bagels that are come sliced But yeah, no, no, sorry. <laughs> it just those those aren't even the same thing that we're talking about here. We're talking actual bagels. Uh, wow, past me does not look like he is doing well. 
<laughs> I feel like you should not continue to eat those bagels. He's still got like a whole bagel left worth of bits sitting on that counter. I, I feel like he's got to give up soon. But it's okay because I'm not going to give up soon. We're going to keep talking for a lot, a lot longer. Because again, this is Toast 2, baby. We're talking way longer than 45 minutes this time. We're, this has got to be a sequel. It's bigger. It's badder. It's epic. It's better. It's all the it's all the B words that people want to hear. Booty. Like, you know, people... Oh, I don't know. I'm not too hip with the kids. How, how come like TikTok's become such a big thing? Don't, don't you guys know it just steals your data and like sells it to everyone and like really steals your data, like where you are, what's, what, what type of things you have copied to your clipboard? Like, oh God, I don't know. I, and for that reason, I'm out. I'm going to miss staying relevant to the kids because I kind of don't want my information stolen like that. <laughs> Sorry. Also, it looks like past me has fully given up, so you're left with just me. I hope you're in for quite the wild ride. Now that the bagels aren't even on screen to remind me what the whole purpose of this video is, good luck. So that being said, I think bagels are kind of a great breakfast option and a decent lunch option, but they're not necessarily the best dinner option. Now. You can theoretically French toast a bagel, and if you're doing a breakfast for dinner kind of situation, a French toast bagel might be the best kind of dinner you can have. I don't really know. Now, pizza bagel. Oh, we were getting there. We were getting there, but those I'd still consider more of a lunch than a dinner. Now, the thing about a pizza bagel is that the hole in the center of the bagel really comes to play here really, really comes to shine out. Now, I know you guys are familiar with the frozen box of pizza bagels where it looks like an entirely flat pizza and you're like, it's like, could just be like a English muffin or something. No, 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 no. Uh, sorry, I just got an alert on my phone that was actually rather uh, important. Uh, I don't want to pause the recording. So I'm just gonna get up and deal with that real quick, but I'll be right back in less than a less than a moment. I did okay, and I'm back. See, just that fast, just that fast. Now, pizza bagels are often messy, considering the fact they can leak through the center, uh, unless you do the spread in a circular fashion, which again kind of feels like it defeats the purpose of a pizza bagel, but that doesn't mean they're not bad. Pizza bagels actually can be great depending on the type of bagel you mix them with, because a uh, plain bagel, sure, it's basically like a pizza with a different kind of bread. Everything bagel, it's a whole different kind of pizza experience, and... I hear a thudding sound and it just... Makes me sound, I, I'm gonna check the door really quick. <laughs> Sorry, there wasn't nearly this many interruptions in the first toast video, so I apologize about that. I know that so far you guys might be thinking, this, he hasn't even mentioned toast. And like, sure, I haven't, um, I uh, haven't even mentioned the, the direct toast to bread comparison statistics that I'm sure you're all very much aware of. Uh, and it's like, I don't know. Like, yeah, these, these studies are, are old. I mean, the last one was from like 2018. These, these aren't relevant anymore. To talk about what other scientists and intelligent people think about the bagel toast debate kind of means nothing when it's our own subjective opinion that determine whether or not we're going to get the toast or bagels. Uh, personally, I think bagels are a great option for everyone because even if you don't like the, the idea of cream cheese or butter, you can still make like a sandwich without putting any spreads on it. 
And I'm not talking a breakfast sandwich here. I'm talking like a regular ham and cheese. Yeah, yeah, you can fully do that with a bagel. No one's stopping you except yourself from doing that. And that's the main takeaway I want to bring about bagels, is that no one is stopping you from experimenting with them except for yourself. Bagels are made to be experimented and expanded upon. They're just a, a, a fraction of the math equation. Now, they are delicious, don't get me wrong, but you can do so much more than the basic bagel. You're going to keep expanding upon that in ways that people don't even really know about. Now, I have had the thought many times, sure, okay, what about grilled cheese, though? Because let's be honest, that's probably the best thing toasted bread, or one of the best things toasted bread can do, is a grilled cheese, right? And with a bagel, again, the whole is very subjective. It can be a good, it can be the same place, could give you a very well-defined whole, or they could give you one with virtually no whole. That's... That's completely subjective on the bagel experience. That's completely, every time you get a bagel, it'll be slightly different, I assure you. And that's sort of the thing about bagels. Is they're far less consistent than toast. While toast can be a little bit more consistent and you know what to expect when you get into it. And it, 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 you know it's going to slap if you just do the right thing to it. Pop, you know, peanut butter jelly on it, boom or, you know, butter or egg, whatever you're trying to do, you know it's going to hit. Bagels, however, then <laughs> bagels are like you, 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 you risk it all, but for like three times the points, right? You're, 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 you're going all in here and you're doing a little bit of a crazy experience and saying, you know, I want my breakfast sandwich bread experience to be more... At, at stake. I want something of value to occur from this interaction. And that's kind of why I've been really into the bagels. Uh, just because you can really shoot for the stars, you know? Uh, it's either going to make your enjoyment of your dish that much more better, or it's going to ruin it. <laughs> It'll never actually ruin it. That was a bit of comedy there. A little jokey joke for you. Uh, It'll only, at like worst, be slightly subpar. Because again, even the worst bagel is going to be like, all right. And again, I'm not calling those store-bought, factory-made, shelf-sitting, plastic-wrapped bits of bread bagels. I won't do it. Those aren't bagels. Okay. I just wanted to keep saying that. Now, what, is it, what does it mean to be a bagel? Can anything be a bagel? Yeah, I suppose so. I hear a lot of noise coming from the walls and the door, and it's like awkward because I think my neighbors are doing it. And it's like, I'm. Um, I'm literally just trying to talk about bagels here. <laughs> Unless they're not, maybe they're like working out and I have a really filthy mind or something. Which, honestly, I wouldn't be totally surprised if that was the case. Uh... There's a locksmith outside. Our door? No, the building. Oh. Interesting. I'm glad you brought that up. Does that have anything to do with... Or you think they're going to come here? Are they going to change our locks? No, I just oh. think maybe that might be part of the noise you're hearing. And that, too. <laughs> That's more the noise I was hearing. Oh, I didn't know you were hearing the noise from outside. No, I was just mostly hearing the noise, which I'm hoping doesn't pick up on the microphone. <laughs> really hoping. But if it does, it does. You know, it probably won't, because yeah. it probably won't. Uh, this video is already starting to get a little bit derailed. Do you have any thoughts about bagels you wanted to add? This has to be longer than 45 minutes. I love minutes. bagels. 
I love New Jersey bagels, maybe more than New York bagels. No, I don't that's know wrong. If that's a hot take. That's yeah, a hot take, and it's wrong. Um, but just like New Jersey pizza, mm, oh. the water makes it better. So, the swamp water of Jersey makes it better. Shut your mouth. So I I think New Jersey bagels are the best kind of bagels, but I do think New York bagels offer you a more variety of. New York bagels toppings. are better. Jesus. They're um, really going <laughs> at it. There's no way that doesn't pick up on the mic, right? My favorite kind of bagel is an everything bagel <coughs> toasted with plain cream cheese. But sometimes, if I'm feeling fancy, I really like bagels and locks. Can't go wrong with that. Bagels and what? Locks. What the fuck like is the a lock? Like salmon. It's like cured salmon. salmon. I don't like fish generally, oh, but for all you fish out. eaters, you should try bagel and, and um, rocks. A bacon, egg, and cheese. Bacon, egg, and cheese is another classic. It's a complete classic, although the it really, for me, depends on, on the place. Because yeah, I'm generally more of a sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese fan. I'm not the biggest fan of sausage. A sausage can be hit or miss, honestly. I feel the same way about bacon, though. Like, I feel like all breakfast meats are kind of hit or miss. Yeah, no, that's true. But, but like, when done Bagels correctly. are always the best part, right? Oh, yeah. For sure, the people, best part. People like... People like bagels through and through. People love bagels. People love bagels. Now, uh, bagels do complement coffee quite well, I think, whereas toast can sometimes miss that mark. Depends on the kind of toast and what you're eating it with, I think. Uh, I, I think it's fully, 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 like, bagels are better. And that's my stance. That's why I've been making. We've been making. I've been making this video uh, as a sort of sequel to a 45-minute video about toast. Uh, this one, we are going to be talking more about bagels, and we're talking about how bagels are better and bigger and Bagler. boobs. Big bagel. Big bagels, and. Uh, I'm getting comfortable now. You're getting comfortable? You're going to yeah. stay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, d uh, they're back at it for a brief moment. What is your least favorite kind of bagel? What is my is least favorite? Is there a least favorite kind? Uh, I fucking hate those pride bagels. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not the rainbow bagels. You don't like them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These taste like regular bread. I feel like you bread. need to like do like a disclaimer that you're not like homophobic. No, I don't need to. Oh, okay. They'll know. They'll okay. know. People know. Okay. You just, I think we need to assume better out of society and just assume people saying mean things are joking. And if they're really trying to be mean, you can just shoot them. So you don't like the rainbow bagel? Uh, it's honestly not my favorite, but it's like it's not like it's my the most disliked actually. I just wanted to do the joke, oh, do the that's bit. Funny joke. It was. It made you laugh. So, what's that <laughs> say about you? <laughs> um, I don't like jalapeno bagels because I don't like spicy food. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and hate them. Um... my mom used to trick me because she would buy jalapeno bagels and spinach bagels, which look the same on the outside because it just has, like, little green in it. Mm. Um, but it, one of them is really spicy and one of them is just spinach. So, it was, like, you just had to, like, wing it. Like, do a little taste test, but, like, it could be spicy, and then your day would be, like, ruined. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I used to buy wings from a place called Just Wing It, and, uh... Wings? That, now, that place has since turned into a Dunkin' Donuts drive through What are your thoughts on Dunkin' Donuts bagel? Less good than the Dunkin' Donuts donuts, but... I have been trying to eat less Dunkin' Donuts because of uh, all the recent news that's come out about Dunkin' Donuts. What do they do? Uh, it's not like what they did specifically. It's just that their donuts are made from people. Is this real? Yeah, it was in the, the news like yesterday. You didn't see that? People? Yeah, like they use like disposed carcasses from like graveyards or whatever to like make the flower it's like got some like bone flower thing going on i personally like the bagels from duncan in a sandwich but i don't think i would like eat them as like a 
like going there specifically to get like a bagel with cream cheese or a bagel with butter. Yeah, usually if I go to Dunkin', I'm pretty much there for one of those sugary coffee beverages yeah. just because they're so delicious. And uh, they, they're delicious, you know? That's pretty much the only reason, actually. They don't... And the hash browns. They do have good hash browns. Yeah, and I think that makes the sandwich even better. Yeah. Now, many people are saying that English muffins are to rival toast and bagels, but I, I, I kind of firmly disagree because while a bagel might have some flaws, an English, English muffin is way messier. Like I know bagels have their toppings that'll fall out, sure, sure, and you might get some of that extra cream cheese mess, also okay, but with, you're not going to get nearly as much mess as you get with an English muffin. Crumbs everywhere. You get crumbs everywhere. We're talking all over your pants, all over your knees, probably all over your like waist area and on the chair you're sitting on. Yeah, it's English it's a muffins, whole it's a whole hassle. I think they're they 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 serve their purpose for when you want to eat them with butter, but I don't think they're good at anything else. Yeah, like I don't want to eat a sandwich on an English muffin. I don't want to eat anything on an English. People muffin do though. Sandwich. People eat sandwiches like, oh, on English um, muffins, and pe many people are saying it's a better option. Eggs Benedict. I don't watch most of his movies, but I heard he's a great <laughs> actor. Um, you didn't like him in the Grinch movie. I didn't even know, I didn't even see the Grinch movie because I'm, I'm also boycotting Lumination Studios because of their business practices. Um, my friend Megan, this is a shout out I to I went Megan. to college, by the way. Um, she went to the premiere of the Grinch movie and she met Tyler, the creator there. Tyler, the and, creator? Like she saw Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, they saw Eggs Benedict there? Yeah. That's cool. Eggs Benedict. Uh... Bagel. Yeah, bagels. Um, what are your thoughts? What's your favorite bagel? Everything bagel toasted with cream cheese. Okay. Is my classic go-to, but I, it can also change depending on the mood. Mm -hmm. No, totally, mm -hmm. totally. I, I generally go to egg everything as well because mm. they're they're classics. But uh, sometimes it's cinnamon raisin. A cinnamon raisin is perfect for when you're in the mood for it. Yeah. And as I was talking about earlier, cinnamon raisin bagels with butter are kind of better than I'm, and everything bagel with cream cheese. That's a really interesting take because it's I'm just a because it's because the butter the butter can melt the cinnamon and the bagel a little bit more. You know, like that co that that combination hits a little bit harder yeah. than the um the cream cheese. Yeah, I'm usually I usually go for a cream cheese if I'm having a bagel like with the spread. Like I don't like. I feel like they put now, too much of. Have you ever had a general. bagel for lunch? Yeah. And have you ever had a cheeseburger on a bagel? No. Okay. Well, that's a little fun at home DIY Fourth of July party recipe you can do at your very own convenience. I don't think that would taste very good. Well, because you don't like meat. You don't like. I don't like cow. You don't like beef. I don't like America and I've tractors many, many and country music. I on bagels for lunch. So you think, okay, circling back to like before, you think a pizza bagel is more of a, of a lunch meal <laughs> than a dinner? I like that we're circling back to this. This is making it interesting. There's yeah. like plot happening there's in... There's bagel lore. There's bagel lore. You can't be clicking around this video. Yeah. Because then if you're you've not going to know what we're talking about. If you've been skipping to be like, oh, I just want to catch the last couple little bit. I want to. No, you're not. You're going to forget. You're going to misunderstand. And you're not going to quite. Under, you're just going to. You're not going to get it. You have to watch this entire video to really understand. You can't be the doing whole anything else either while yeah. you're watching. Can't be. Besides you have to, eating a bagel. I mean, actually, no, that's so not true. I know many people who watched the original Toast, a 45 minute video about Toast. I know many people who watched that short. Uh, doing other things like i think someone said they were watching a stream while listening to it or playing video games or something listening to it i think it's totally okay to multitask while enjoying our media here um i just want to make that very clear however i do think if you've been skipping around like at all you got to go back and restart uh from where you skipped from because you really want to experience this one whole this is many people have been asking for this it's video funny, like bagels have holes in them <laughs> 
And you really want to just make sure you go, you experience this whole product because it's it's something we've really been spending at least 45 minutes on so far. And uh, actually probably about as most 46 minutes so far. So, you know, make sure to make sure to watch the whole thing. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because there's still a lot more Toast to the sequel content to come. Uh, so, what do you think is is the best way to eat a bagel for dinner? Uh, I think if you have to eat a bagel for dinner, it's kind of a sad dinner. But I think the best way to eat a bagel for dinner is put two slices of bagels roasted on a stove, not necessarily toasted. We're talking butter side down. You get a nice little grill going on the top in the box of your bagel. And then you cook cook, cook, cook a steak. And you put all the steak juices onto the bagel and slap a nice cut up steak with maybe a little bit of, a little bit of toppings in between a bagel sandwich. That's not a bad idea. I think if you're eating a bagel for dinner, you have to go classic and just do a bagel with butter. No, that's like... That's a firm That's no, it. gonna put you on a list somewhere. <laughs> You're gonna be known Wait, as one of those people who has I a depressing have another, dinner. I have another question. Okay, Josh, shoot. What are your thoughts on like, okay, you know how regular bagels, I'm doing like a visual, like they're sliced like this way, like long, like across, so you have like two identical halves. Yeah, try not to bump into the mic, by the way. Okay. What are your thoughts on the, the bagels that are sliced like, it's like this? But it's sliced like that. That's a really good audio demonstration of what you're talking about. <laughs> the viewers at home are really going to know your question you, I need that you're asking me. It. Okay, so what are my thoughts on like chopped the bagels? They, they slice bagels in St. Louis. I've never seen a bagel sliced in St. Louis, seeing as how I've never been See, to like, St. Louis. Um, like a bagel chip, sort of. A bagel. Like they cut it, instead of cutting it sideways, they cut it right way uh, up and down across so like fries of yeah of of bagel yeah. uh sure i would i would eat bagel wedges that sounds good i mean different definitely a different way of going about it but that's sort of what like, i was saying earlier you, you know this? how would i explain that yeah. basically they're cutting up a bagel that's what i would say okay because it's like instead of slicing the bagel in half you're doing rows of of cuts um to slice it and chop it if you're up. from st louis you already know what we're talking about i guarantee you no one is watching this from st louis unless you are in which case just pretend you're not so i can win this argument here not necessarily an argument but my point you know it's it's about the, it's about the meaning it's shut up just just agree with me bagels are great because you can experiment and how to do so many different things with them but have you ever tried dunking a bagel into a soup I have a tomato soup with a bagel on top. Exactly. Oh. Or a bread bowl, possibly. Can I tell you the, the snack I used to eat all the time in high school? Yeah, is it a bagel? Yes. You cool. get a bagel, you toast it, you put butter on it. You get a bag of chips, like potato chips. You crunch it up, and then you put that on I don't top like, of the bagel I don't like with that. butter. I don't like that. Chips, chips in a sandwich are a hard no-go for me. It's not even a sandwich. It's just a bagel with butter and then chips. Yeah, but the the, the sandwich the sandwich format of it is 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 not necessarily a good it's look not, for me because it hurts my mouth because the edges of the chips can cut. So like when I eat a chip, I like to just have the single chip experience. So, but what, so like I take a handful of chips, or maybe I'll have an individual chip. How is that? But if a chip is in a sandwich, it's in between the breads, so it's less likely to cut you. No, because it's not like when you bite into a sandwich the bread stays together as soon as it enters your mouth everything's loose in your mouth it I falls guess. apart i never thought about that um oh i put much 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 thought into this whole thought process that's why we decided to go make the video about bagels instead of toast uh, i know many people were excited for the toast sequel but surprise it is in fact about bagels the whole thing is about bagels and there's nothing else of context or substance here but Bagels. bagels, bagels. And so, uh, back to what I was saying. Those there were studies actually from 2018 that were discussing this whole debate between bagels and toast. But I thought a lot of the data was uh, uh, obscure because they listed they listed pizza bagels as a dinner item. And so for for, for me, that's a complete 
mistranslation of the concept here because the bagels the the frozen snack or yeah 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 yeah, the frozen snack not not a homemade pizza bagel like the frozen snack as a dinner and that's not even no one would agree with that those frozen snacks aren't even bagels they're just like frozen bits of bread in a circular manner a bagel is a whole different a whole different type of thing than just frozen bread in a circular man. That's why I'm really adamantly against supermarket bagels and bags that just sit on the shelves for weeks on end. There's, Those are the worst kind of bagels. They're not even bagels. Right. Some people, though, don't know what good bagels are. They don't live close enough to a good bagel shop. Or in New York City. Or New like, Jersey. If you're not from the East Coast, maybe... Basically, what we're saying is if you're on the West Coast, come to the East Coast, try a real bagel, and you're going to be like, wow, that was certainly a little bit of bread in a circle. Uh, basically. Toast it up. Yeah, I usually like to slice it before I toast it. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Um. You ever bitten into a bagel, like eating it whole? I have, I have, I've had cold bagels. I've had, I've, I've traveled enough that I've been in situations where it's like, fuck you, you get a cold bagel and after you bite into it, you can dunk it in cream cheese. Yes, or the bagels. Okay, like it's very specific, like these bagels, it's like already pre-packaged with cream cheese. Yeah. And it's like wrapped in plastic wrap, but the cream cheese, like the cream cheese isn't stuck to the bagel because the bagel's so room temperature. That like is not stuck, and you have to like use the bagel as like a scoop for the cream cheese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally yeah. been there. Um, when I was young, I actually in didn't. Penn Station, you know. When I was young, I actually never ate cream cheese. Interesting. Yeah, because when did I. Did you start eating cream cheese? Um, probably about high school, maybe, maybe a little bit before that. Um, mostly because I I just didn't like many kinds of cheeses. And I didn't necessarily like a lot of creams, so. Do you like the block of cream cheese, or are you more like the spreadable, like whipped cream cheese? Definitely the spreadable whipped cream cheese. Are you kidding me? Do you like temp tea? That's absolutely superior. What the fuck is a temp tea? It's the like it's a brand of cream cheese. It comes in like the pink. Oh, I, I can't read, so that doesn't. Aff- I don't know. You, well, yeah, but when you look at the cream cheeses, there's like one that's like in a pink tub. <clears throat> It's, the most, it's my favorite kind of cream cheese. Oh, I'm a Land O'Lakes cream cheese guy all through and through. Not even a Philadelphia kind of guy? I guess Philadelphia's okay, too. I think Philadelphia... Philadelphia's maybe more overrated. iconic. Yeah. No, I have to... I came in line. It's not the best option out there, but it's kind of cornered the cream cheese market. Mm-hmm. It thinks that it's the best, but it's not. Mm-hmm. Especially, like, the blocks of Philadelphia... I'm not a fan of the blocks of cream cheese. Yeah, no. I don't think anyone is. Like, anybody that's above the age of, like, 40, I think, you know, exclusively blo- buys the blocks of cream cheese. I just think they're more common, so that's why I think people buy them. Unless you're making some kind of cookie in which you need a block of cream cheese. Which, why would you even do icing that? Icing or cake or something. You don't even... Like a cream cheese frosting and you just need a block. Why would you even need a cream cheese frosting, you know? Like, you don't, you know, so it's kind of what I'm saying. Right. Is that, well, I'm, I'm also not crazy about cream cheese. Like, bagels are the, probably the best thing for cream cheese to be on. I think cream cheese was, like, made for bagels. <coughs> and bagels are pretty good, but they're not necessarily, like, you know, going to be using all the spreads and uh, toppings from bagels on various things. Like, I wouldn't season a steak with an everything bagel seasoning. Everything seasoning, like the, everything about the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, that was kind of taking off as its own entity. What? what people what are putting do you mean it on everything. I don't know. Who, who are these people? Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. But I don't like use social every, media. That's a lie. Every like girl, boy, on anyone. Really. Oh, so there's a binary and, now. <laughs> I was gonna. I just everyone. Everyone they make recipes. They always are putting the everything bagel seasoning right on top everything many people are doing this it's true this sounds nasty i wouldn't make a burrito with everything seasoning people would probably do that 
That's crazy. That's fucked up. Yeah. No. See, this is the, this is one of the many problems I have with society today is that all these kids will just go onto TikTok and copy things. And people are like, people are accidentally making mustard gas and shit. Like, did you we make the feta cheese uh, tomato pasta? No, I don't go on. I don't. I don't do this. I don't use <laughs> things that the kids use because it harvests so much of your information, and you just become another number in the machine. And you, you're people are striving for a sense of identity in this day and age because we feel so irreplaceable not irreplaceable we feel so replaceable because it's like you just live to serve a function that someone else could be doing because there's everyone's connected to the same cultural mass that we call the internet and you just rehash the same ideas through and through and through again but with iterations of it so it's got its own unique twist its own unique name it's not called vine it's called tiktok don't walk away from me Oh, you need a drink? Oh, okay. I was just about to get into it. I was really about it. Oh, you spilled all oh, over me. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh no. You can just you can tell me just to shut up if you don't like no, my train of thought. That. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm sure I'm sure the audience didn't care either. Uh but any you know, we will be making a podcast eventually and we can we can air more of our grievances with the mainstream culture. Society. Oh, that should be what we should talk about. Joker. Joker? Yeah. The Joker bagel? Well, you didn't tell them about, like, the idea of our podcast is we talk about movies. This isn't to plug our podcast. This is to do a sequel <laughs> you, to the acclaimed video, a 45-minute video about it. toast. You mentioned it first, the podcast. I was just I was okay. just doing a brief little mention to be like, you know, here we both are sharing a microphone being talking together and uh, the audience listening to us with not looking at anything. And, you know, I just sort of wanted to, you know, say something about that. Just give a little little nod to the fact that this could be something more seen presently throughout than just the sequels to Toast, you know. Uh, which I'm not doing another one, by the way. I'm not doing a Toast 3. Don't ask. If you were, what would it be about? Probably croissants. Ooh, but at this point, you'd expect that. So I'd have to subvert that in an expectation somehow. So it wouldn't actually be about croissants. But pretzel, why do you say this to me now when we're like an hour into the one about to bagels? Fuck, I love pretzels. Like a warm pretzel. Like a warm yeah. pretzel. Those are also super New York feeling. Mm -hmm. Just walking through, getting a pretzel on the street. Yeah. Dang, those are good. But honestly, you can't have a pre pretzel for a meal. Yeah, the pretzel's a snack. Pretzel is a snack. Whereas bagel yeah. can a be meal. a meal. Can be a snack. Can be a meal. Yeah. Um, you're not going to find someone on TikTok with this much depth about bagels. Now are you? a lot of tiktok videos yeah that's kind of what i'm saying you know people people like that instant gratification of not having to think but like i don't know i think there i think there is some enjoyment that comes from listening to some moron ramble into a microphone for hours on end and that's why i, I use youtube a lot you know yeah yeah and so uh toast two <laughs> No, it's not done yet. I just wanted to give a little... Oh. <laughs> keep on saying that this is what we're making right now. Toast 2. Toast 2. Um, okay, I have a question for all the viewers out there. And me. And you. Yeah. What does... What do you say, like, when something is, like, a sequel? Like, something 2? Like, I feel like everybody's family has, like, a different thing. Like, you say, for instance, like, something 2... Okay, you're not gonna answer. I don't know. What, I don't know what you're. I don't know what the question <laughs> okay, is. Okay, so like my in my family, like if it's like if there's like a, a sequel to something, like no matter what, like the actual sequel title is called, will be like some toast two dreams come true. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And yeah. Well, these are Team Fortress two players, so I guarantee you it's probably gonna be like Electric Boogaloo, but um, yeah, I like to do the squeak bowl. That's a good. That's a really good one. Just because it's a fun yeah, one, because yeah. like not everything's squeaky, but so <laughs> <laughs> Iron Giant Two, the squeakle, <laughs> like why not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is a legitimate question. So, uh, make sure to cast your vote. What should this have been called? Uh, because I guarantee you, I named it before you've watched it. So, 
go figure that one out. And um, checkmate atheists. Oh, that's a fun little meme reference. You're funny. You are funny. <laughs> uh, I think that this video will feels like it's starting to draw to its natural conclusion, but I just want to give a little bit of reward for the people who have made it this far. Because imagine like watching this and it just sort of like ends without anything. Yeah. That'd be disappointing as fuck. You yeah. made it this whole way here. You deserve a little prize, I think. Now call me crazy if you don't if you don't think I des you deserve a little prize. Uh, and the prize is. I haven't necessarily thought about what their prize would be. I'm gonna do a drum roll. But yeah, maybe maybe do a drum roll, and we'll figure out their prize by the time the drum roll. Keep that drum roll going, cause I'm gonna need a time to think about what they get. idea uh just as like a little treat for the viewers back home you can hear a little bit of bass guitar <laughs> yeah that's that's it i'm sorry i don't really know that the pace of that song too good but if you know what that's from you know what that's from thank you for sticking around this far congratulations and i really appreciate all those people who stuck with me for so long be sure to check out the vimeo if you want to see more of like actual professional content and uh you know maybe expect some more funny sillies fun stuff on this channel because I have no idea what I'll be releasing but there'll be more stuff and if you just liked Catherine and I chatting in front of the mic maybe tell us to do a podcast and we'll actually do it this time because apparently I'll do anything you guys say so thanks for listening to Toast 2 a sequel to a 45 minute video about Toast I have no idea how long we've been going so ho hopefully it's longer than 45 minutes and uh, yeah, this has been the, the bigger, the better, the most awesome sequel to a really a video, an internet video. It's definitely, <laughs> definitely been a, been, a, been a time that people can say they've had. Uh, go do something now. Unless you've been doing something. Maybe go take a break now if you've been doing something. You know, switch off. All right. Okay. Hi. I can smell you.